We've heard the stories time and time again. A student collapses during practice on the field. It's happened here in our area and at schools all across the country. This disturbing trend prompted a Houston cardiologist to launch a pilot program screening middle school students for heart problems. The results were shocking. Of the 94 sixth graders who underwent a series of tests, five were diagnosed with minor heart conditions, two needed surgery. We're talking kids as young as 12. Dr. Well Carrie Peterson from Lenox Hill Hospital says it is cause for concern. Well, the numbers that we're seeing in these studies, they're not shocking. They're not cause for alarm, but they are cause for concern. I mean, they are relatively small numbers. However, when it's your child, it doesn't matter what the statistics are, you're going to be very concerned as a parent. According to the Sudden Cardiac Arrest Foundation, an estimated six to 8,000 children die of sudden cardiac arrest each year. Symptoms often don't surface until it's too late. The difficulty with athletes is when you're screening a child for any heart problems, if you're just doing a physical exam, you may actually miss something. Oftentimes doctors will take a, an extended history, they'll examine the heart, but even then you can miss cases of heart conditions in children and then they may present themselves when they're on the field and you can have sudden cardiac arrest possibly. Right now, standardized screening for cardiac problems for children does not exist. Cost is one of the biggest factors. It would be about $1,000 per child. And the question is, is it worth spending this kind of money to detect disease in a relatively small number of children? Dr. Carey says being vigilant will help parents know if their child is at risk. Well, there are some warning signs that you can see rarely that parents should keep an eye out for. Uh, one of the big ones is symptoms during and after exercise. And these symptoms are dizziness, fainting, excessive shortness of breath, and chest pain. Also, if a child faints during emotional distress, that's a warning symptom. And finally, if you have a family history of someone who's had sudden death during exercise or under the age of 50, that's another big red flag.